With each step I make, the rustling of dry grass echoes throughout the forest. Although the twisted land has changed its shape once again, I walk through the forest without hesitation. After all, the destination is always the same. Suddenly I feel a burning gaze upon me, and an equally burning light from between the trees. What are you doing there? Phoenix. What? How did you know? Your body's on fire, you know, inside a dark forest. Impressive to think you'd see through my camouflage. Anyway, why are you here? I'm just here to observe you. Observe me? Did I do anything wrong? Look, stop clowning around and leave me alone. Clowning around? Don't you know how important this is? The most important thing to me is living here forever. Unlikely, but if you start to have any second thoughts... Don't worry, I won't do anything like that. Woohoo, well, I suppose so. You're not an idiot or anything. So you're gonna wake up Lucy? Can I go with you? Go with me? Think about it from the perspective of Lucy, who forgot everything. She's gonna wake up with a weird bird in front of her face. Weird bird, did you just call me a weird bird? Whatever, go away now. The story of this world begins when the Ark Investigator Azara wakes up the hero Lucy. Isn't that what we agreed on? Don't do any pointless stuff that could disrupt the world. Foo, to be honest, I was a bit worried lately. I suppose everything's gonna be alright. What? Nothing, I'll be returning to the Ark now. This time, tell Lucy that Phoenix is super OP, so she'd recruit me. Hmm. What's that bird planning? Yes, everything in this world is premeditated. The same timeline repeats endlessly, and all but a few memories are wiped out. Because the people retain no memories, they repeat the same words and actions again and again. The only chaos in this world is a twisted land, whose structure changes every time. Therefore, only when I come down to the twisted land do I realize that I am truly alive. Hmm. And now the same timeline is about to repeat again. As usual, a girl is lying down at the same place. When I wake up this girl, a new story begins. Now it's time to wake up Lucy. What journey will you show me this time? We're back. Records. Rest, yes. Park project. All right. Let's see. Project introduction. In order to survive the unforeseen. Eh, let's view it. Oh, I see. Hmm, Klein. Hello, everyone. My name is Klein, the Arc Project's exec. Ayuinu. Oh, it's corrupted. First, I'd like to thank all the guests who have gathered here. To those who have supported us. Ooh. Okay. This phenomenon was observed by chance as it had no precursors, and the time we have remaining is very short indeed. In this situation, there are many projects underway in various parts of the world. But the method the remaining majority of people chose is cold sleep. According to our talks with the organizations that are still intact, uh, I'm not sure, of the population has already entered cold sleep. Cold sleep is an innovative solution that takes advantage of the symptoms of this great catastrophe. It's a method that can accommodate the most amount of people. However, the problem is that this method is far from perfect. First of all, the biggest problem is that, as we all know, this phenomenon is likely to stay on Earth for a long period of time. On top of that, since it's impossible to accurately estimate when it will end, it's possible that it could last for an astronomical amount of time. The situation demands us to look up to a thousand years into the future. Oh. No chance to wake up from cold sleep. 
And worst case scenario, all of humanity could be forever. Humanity is on path of... That's why we started the Ark Project to preserve us until that point. The Ark Project is a groundbreaking way to maintain our daily lives during the span of the Great Catastrophe. The Ark contains everything needed to sustain life. The Ark can outlast something and safely something something. You cannot accommodate something alternatively. Even if you were not selected for the Ark, there are nearby shelters for cold sleep. Soon as the great catastrophe is over, something. And a lot of corruption. Hmm. Okay, so in order to survive the unforeseen grand catastrophe, a man named Klein kickstarts a project. He claims that this ARC project will be safe and reliable. Way to survive the catastrophe. Alright. Progress. ARC project progresses smoothly. Executive Director Klein. Rightly vows to save humanity with his project and like other projects that are busy with self-gain. However, someone requests an appointment stating that there is a critical flaw in the project. Hmm. That one. This is the year 20... 9 o'clock. It seems like the others are busy preparing breakfast. The situation outside is getting worse and worse, and it's currently... It's getting harder and harder to endure. As for the progress of the project, we're running a little behind schedule, but it's going smoothly without any major problems. I feel hopeful that we'll be able to activate the Ark soon. The Ark project proceeds as planned. It should be possible to save all humanity that was unable to board the Ark. Hmm. There are a number of survival projects underway around the world. But many of them do not appear to be making much progress. Even if they do succeed, it seems unlikely that they'll be the ones to save the countless people who... who've entered cold sleep. Other projects have basically abandoned the people in cold sleep. Not only are these projects merely focused on sustaining their own lives, it also seems highly unlikely that they'll survive until the end of the Great Catastrophe. But by projects different, we can save everyone. Greater sense of responsibility is why our team is working tirelessly to complete the project. However, there was someone who recently wanted to consult me on an interesting topic. It's... That person said there was a critical flaw in the ARC project and wanted to discuss it with me. Hmm. I judged that it was a problem we could think about after the ARC was operational, so I decided to do my best to complete the ARC first. Probably is R. It looks like his hairstyle, at least. Hmm, actually, I already knew that to some extent. That's why I prepared a solution in advance. That method is a fallback, I prepared it just in case. I'll use it if there's really no other option. Anyway, the root of the problem is... in the Ark. Hmm. And then all corrupted. Alright, warm day. Lucy and her friends basking in the warm sunlight, enjoying the comfortable weather. They spent shivering cold over all lie. I don't know if I want to watch that one yet. A uh, photo taken by a group of friends, warm day. It must have been a long time since the photo was taken, since the image seems to be fading away. Oh, unlocked when the project ends, and all characters' golden tokens of friendship is obtained except Azar. Hmm. Oh. Interesting. Say back. Oh, they're talking, huh? Okay. It's the. Alright, I can upgrade the necklace again. I can also. Well, let's at least look and see what there is. Ah, it's the same as before. I believe. Yeah. Best resorts. Yeah, same as before. So you have to buy everything before it upgrades or something? Um, let's refresh even objects, option strength, the second stage, ones per stage. Random additional skill book, when you defeat the first boss. Me, on the wishes, and 
Option to upgrade accelerate may appear. Uh. Hmm. See how much was thing over here? Also, this guy. Ah. You see, the mission given is very important. Very dangerous. Sure. Preparing is the action of reflecting enemy attacks. If successful, you will not only defend against your enemy's attack, but also render them vulnerable. Parrying is very advantageous during combat when done properly. Very attack skill book. Okay. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Hmm. Alright, well, shoot. I'm down to five now. I don't think I can upgrade anything now. Oh, I can buy something, or unlock something. Hmm. Destiny skill. Maybe straight flush. Or I save up again. I might save up again. I think everyone's going to say the same thing. Oh, Charon's here. Hey, you there! Are you interested in the power of darkness? Hmm. Why are you ignoring me? Ah, you're not interested? Um. That, that, that's. Please don't ignore me. Okay, well, let's do that again. But, let's do... No. Sniffle. It's so cool, though. Hmm. Funny, they're like behind... I'm assuming is, uh, I'm assuming is a church or something. I don't think it's a church even. Okay, same thing with this guy. Yep. Okay. Any machine? Anything different? A little bit. Let's see. Churches two. Hmm. Butterfly knife. Sure. And... Hmm. No, save the rest. Alright. Well, let's get ready for another run. Okay, so we what? We unlocked... We already had her. We unlocked this guy. Johan. Johan was an ordinary young man who lost his lover at the Twisted Land. After training hard to seek revenge with his anger, Johan became an expert in archery, and now he volunteers at the investigation team to reunite with his lost lover. Johan specializes in utilizing his fixed ability and grows stronger with the amount of skills in hand. Hmm. Master of Archery. Fixed ability is changed to close range shot. Fixed ability is refreshed every time you play a skill from hand that costs one or more. Hmm. Skills created by other characters cannot refresh fixed ability. This passive is applied from level one. He's an attack, huh? And parry 10 attacks. Okay, so we learned parry. I'm gonna have to do it every single time, though. Alright, so we used Azar twice. And then... Assault. Alright, so Azar and Pressel. What if we do... Hmm... We haven't done with Joey yet. But what if we do... Hmm... This chain was fun. I 
here transfers the crit. X over. X carry over between battles. Five skills from hand, next skill, play costs zero. Interesting. What if we do Hein? Oh, Fruit. Hein and Joey. Let's try these guys. Accelerate or Snap. To accelerate this time. Alright, back to Misty Garden. Oh yeah. I got two prairie attacks, huh? Alright. So let's do one to him, one to him. Blood Bank. For health to obtain a key, it's gonna be up to two times, or library. One skill book. Also use one key to obtain an infinite skill book. I do have a key. Hmm. We'll save up the skill book, probably. For health. Hmm. Sure. Key. Good all. Bank that stores blood. Donate. Uh, Twenty-four to paint a key. All right. So do that. Um. I don't know if we get an unlucky attack. This will be one of the quickest runs. Let's see. Alright, what do we got? Ooh, different haunted tables. Parry attack, parry attack. Okay, so what do they do? This is under countdown. Select the target attack's parody member. Redirect the attack to yourself. Cast the skull immediately. Hmm. Okay. Do some healing. Hmm. Accelerate. Do that. Get rid of the table. Don't need to accelerate. Hmm. Not bad, not bad. And potion. Okay. Nothing too crazy yet. We got. Ooh, we're like right off the bat, huh? Akrena, in the first turn of battle, gain four more exchanges. Okay. Relic, every 13 draws, remove one random debuff from all allies. Huh. Exchanges? I haven't really exchanged much. Or that. Do that. Ah. Increase mana first. Another fight. Mm, Prentice made and a soldier statue. An enemy, don't need to do that yet. The four. Don't need to accelerate just yet. Do that. Ooh. I do need to accelerate. So then you do this. Uh, oop. Okay. Nice. And turn. That is an interesting attack. It's like at the end of the turn, okay. Uh, and they didn't even really attack any me. You know, attack me at all. Interesting. Ooh, gold. Scroll bread. Let's 
see what else is over here. Nothing. Chant table, don't really have anything. Potion, Tikit, Relic. I have a key. Hmm. Key to Relic. Sure. Ooh, what we got? Okay, thorny stem. Whenever you apply a stun debuff to an enemy, also apply a weakening debuff that increases damage you by 50%. This one fills with excluder allowed. Hmm, trigger the following effect. For five mana, draw four cards. This effect can only be reactivated once per battle. Perhaps. Upper coil when taking two or more damage, reduce that damage by one. Hmm. I don't know if that would be a weird kind of stack. Icebox sounds good. Alright, so two relics right off the bat. Let's get this guy's. That was his thing, unique ability. Um Alright, red slash damage. Okay. Use the skills cool on by one if the user has healing gauge remaining. Cost is reduced to zero at this door. Ooh. Okay. Blood storm. Get twenty three damage. Equal to same percent of max health plus fifty percent of lost health. If you defeat an enemy with the skill, overheal twenty five percent of max health. Okay, Bolt Slash, 19 damage, this skill always lands against targets with a weakening debuff. If facing one enemy, damage is increased by 8. Ooh. Well, I'm almost constantly with healing gauge, I think, so that... That's the... Blood donor, don't need that. Alright. And the lifting scrolls. Nope. Cerberus? Ooh, he's different now. Okay. Really shield. Walks one attack. Shoot. Dead him with something weak, basically. Living armor. Garden? End of line. Shoot, I forgot. I have that. Alright, well, whatever. Are you shank? Ooh, actually, no, that... That is actually a good thing, I think. I can do this. I can do that. Oh, it's guarded. I forgot. Shoot. Alright. Um... And turn. I messed that one up. Not parried. I got something in. Dodge. Ah, healing potion. Turn accelerates. Um, do that. I can do. Can accelerate that. Oh. Do that. And that. Turn. I'll heal again. Cool. Bridge slash. Don't want to do that just yet. That. And then do that. Oh, two turns. If I end the turn. Boom. Ouch. Another rage, huh? way. Oh, a lot of stuff. The Anna Potion, two mana this turn, move overload. Not bad. 
your shield equipment. Okay, so a higher armor. Crit hit chances down. Oh, receiving crit chance is also down though. Ooh, golden skill book. Not bad. Alright. At three. Uh, he's leveled up. I was a level this guy up. Hmm. Stuns. Cool. Weakening smog. Ooh. Damage. Infredlement. Crit chance down. Debuff resist is down. Four damage a turn. Interesting. Healing ray. Okay, debuff resistance for attacking is up. Alright, so now I got potions for each, so I can... If I get something, I can sell them. We got... Ooh, painting. Okay. Um, let's equip... Equip him with it. Alright. Sleep pretty much already. Are you okay? Should I give you some sedatives? You think my madness will subside with those mere drugs? You think my drugs can't subside that mere madness? Hmm. And fruit. Ooh, Miss Jane. Ooh, I can get your hand anyway. Miss Jane. Don't have a tank yet. Hmm, blacksmith. Not that useful. Let's see. Two wood. We got. Okay, so we're going to retain everything we got. Yes, so we got art supplies. Comprehensive set of art supplies, including a palette and various paints, brushes, and pencils. Anyone can easily begin painting with these supplies. Beginners should start with fruits or flower pots. Hmm. Butterfly knife, special knife, whose blade can be folded and stored in the hilt. It's a decent weapon, but it doesn't really have any value beyond self-defense. However, carrying it around may prove useful in everyday life, and its fan base seems larger than expected due to its unique feel and stylishness. Hmm. That sounds like a hind type of thing. Let's see. Knife, you're giving this to me? This is a butterfly knife, right? I love these, of course. It's not a good weapon by any means, but welding it is so satisfying. <laughs> Thanks, I'll use it for self-defense. Sounds about right. And seems to be heavy. Hey, what are you doing? What? Are these all blades? Why do you have so many of them? Shut up, you're damn noisy. Ooh. Preparing blades to cut down those Pharos bastards, what's the problem? You really need this many, though? Besides, even if the Pharos Order is our enemy, they're the same humans as us, right? Don't you feel any aversion towards killing them? So what? Those bastards deserve to die. Other ones begging to be killed, so why should I feel this aversion? Hmm. Right at the heart, or... Too extreme. I think I'll do this one. You're hurting on the inside. I'm saying this for your sake. You get caught up in violence, you'll only end up hurting yourself. That's what you wanted to say, Kehe. <laughs> I still don't know much about you, and I don't know why you hate the Pharaoh's Order as much, but sometimes I worry about you. Who are you to worry about me? At this rate, I worry that you'll go berserk. Even now, whenever you defeat an enemy, you start attacking random things on your own. Kehe, <laughs> you dare try to control my madness? I've murdered so much to the point that it doesn't phase me anymore. You realize that, don't you? Yeah. I'm saying there's nothing you could possibly gain from being friends with a guy like me. If you understand, let's go search for our next prey already. Hmm. Relationship with Hein has improved. Cool. Alright. Um, don't want to use anything. And we have a chain in the party. Hey, don't waste your potions. 
Alright, Rage. Recast the next skill played from hand and take pain damage. Ooh. 25% of max health. Activates for skills with that are two or less. Biotic Field. Move the skill atop of the deck when a battle starts for healing per turn. Infinite. Whoa. Mantle Armor. Okay, so damage. This skill can only be used if burn is active. Interesting. Okay, 50% armor. Infinite. Move one stack after taking damage. But it's a 5 out of 10. Hmm. Biotic Field, that sounds super obscenely good. Okay, shock in our ice box and Angel's Potion. Cool. 